In this video, we're going to take a look at OpenPoint's Notes functionality. Notes are a general purpose way of tracking information for your utility. Notes consist of a category and one or more associated notes. Categories group notes together, and within each category, you can create a number of notes that are basically free form notepads that you can use to enter information. Notes can be used for just about anything you can think of. Examples include pay rate changes, water samples, borrowed items, notices, vendor information, and so on. Whatever you can think of, you can probably use a note to track. Notes are shared with everyone at your utility that has the notes feature enabled. To get to the notes feature from within OpenPoint, first log in and go to the main menu and select components and then the notes option. We're now looking at the notes categories. You can see here that we have a list of several of these note categories, borrowed items, current disconnects, and water samples. Each one of these categories then has one or more notes tied to them. You can create as many categories as you want, and each one of those categories can have an unlimited number of notes associated to them. The categories are really just a useful way of being able to describe what the notes are. Let's take a look at what's inside one of these categories. I'm going to click on water samples. When I do that, you'll see it presented a list of water sample notes. In this case, we're tracking water samples by the year. So we have water samples 2022, 2023, 2024, and so on. Let's look at one of these note records. I'm going to click on water samples 2024 and you can see that the note has that same title in the title section here. There are tags associated to the note. A tag is simply a way of being able to search on a note later on and these can be comma separated. It's also completely optional. And then the main notes field is under the notes option here. And so you can see in this example uh, we tracked the samples by the date. So we actually have a date, a description of the sample, and the person who then performed that particular sample. If you press enter at the end of the line, it'll then go to the next line, and you can continue on uh, for quite a number of pages. It's not unlimited, but there is a lot of data in each one of these notes. Let's try adding a new note record. First, I'm going to close the existing one, and now we're back in the water samples category. So I'm going to go to the big orange plus button, and that's going to create a blank note for me. So I'm going to call this one test note with a tag of test, and then I can just enter my notes in here. When I'm done, you just click on the save button, and that saves the record and takes you back to the categories list with the new note record listed. To edit an existing note, you first click on it, and then click on the pencil icon and then you can add whatever changes you want and then click the save button. If you then want to delete that note you can then click on it again and then go to the three dots button here and then say delete and then the note is deleted. If you want to create a brand new category first click the back button and then we're back to the notes categories list and then click the big orange plus button and then enter your new category description and then click create to then create it and it'll then go into that particular category and then you're ready to start adding new notes by clicking the big plus button. You can search for categories and for note records but not at the same time. To search for a category go to the notes category list and then in the search box type in a portion of the name of the category. So if I type in sample, then I can get just a list of categories that have the word samples in them. I can then clear out that text and it'll go back to the full list of note categories. If you want to find a particular note first, you have to go into the category. So I'll go into water samples and then when I go into the search box this time, it's only going to search for notes that are in the water samples category. It's going to search by the title or the tag. It does not search within the notes themselves, however. So let's type in 2024, and now I get the water samples 2024 title. 
And that wraps up the overview of the OpenPoint Notes feature.